Rolling black are set to continue into the new future or near future that as people are looking for alternative solutions. One of them is solar, but it comes at too high a price tag for most South Africans. Now there may be a solution. Energy Africa has launched a solar panel assembly plant in Cape Town. It'll focus on making smaller panels to serve low income households. And this will be across the sub-Saharan Africa. Our senior reporter Aisha Ismail tells us more. A solar panel with two USB ports that you can carry around and use when you need it. But don't forget to put it out in the sun. It costs around 18 US dollars. We are operating in eight different countries currently on the continent. And what we're trying to do is to innovate solutions for the people that cannot afford uh, the normal traditional solar stuff. On the production line currently you'll see there's 20 watt solar panels. A 20 watt solar panel we make up in a kit, which is a 10,000 million power bank with two lights. Um, in our markets, especially countries like Zimbabwe, Malawi, um, this will be for a small rural household. It provides lights, kits to study. Um, so, yeah, it makes a big, big impact on the smaller households. This project, situated right here in the mother city, is employing and empowering previously unemployed women with no experience or prior knowledge. We heard of solar panels, we had to Google what is a solar panel, and now today we are, we are making world-class panels. What we knew is how to switch on and switch off a soldering iron. We knew nothing about flux, solar modules, photovoltaic cells, junction boxes, PCB boards, nothing. We had to learn and ask and Google, and, but we got it right. She says she's pleased and feels proud to be able to train other women and transfer knowledge. Salmon also mentions that she's often asked how the solar panel will function during winter. It's not the heat of the sun that makes your solar panel work. It's actually the light, the UV rays that is absorbed and then transferred or changed or turned into electric energy. She says while they are currently manufacturing 20 watt models, they have the capacity to produce 50, 360 and up to 400 watts. Aisha Ismail, Cape Town.